Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Yannick Asks. Today we're going to talk about the deep places of our Earth. Or better, about the big borehole pump, the Velo Actuan Cetos. A product that can be customized and also impresses with its low energy costs. My guest today is the product expert of Boho Pumps, Philip Meibum. Welcome, Philip. Hello, Yannick. So uh, this is uh, the Velo Actun Zetos. The name and also the big size are very special, but this pump is used for raw water intake, right? Yeah, that's correct. The Velo Actun Zetos can be used for many applications, such as water supply and pressure boosting and a pressure shout for industrial and offshore processes, as well as for water treatment and desalination plants. Uh, it can also be used for um, agricultural irrigation, uh, but the main purpose is, however, in municipal raw water intake. Municipal raw water intake, what does it mean? Uh, well, a large part of our drinking water is groundwater extracted from deep wells, and ball pumps are used for this purpose. Okay, and every single application has their own challenges. Which one do we have here? Well, a huge challenge in uh, raw water extraction are the constantly changing duty points. And especially the climatic change leads to even greater fluctuations of the water demand on the one side and the groundwater levels on the other side. And so the solution is the Velo Acton Zetos. Well, yes, correct. We develop innovative solutions such as the variable speed Velo Acton Zetos with a high efficient permanent magnet motor and Velo EFC frequency converter. And by this, we can enable operators of waterworks and farmers uh, to a robust but also efficient water supply. Okay, Philip, now tell me what are the specific skills of the Velo Actuan Zetos? Yeah, with its best-in-class hydraulic efficiency of up to 85.5%, the pump is ideal for every process where an efficient water supply is needed. In the waterworks of Bad Überkingen in Ger Germany, for instance, uh, two of those pumps uh, save up to 100,000 kilowatt hours a year. Okay, now we have a big shiny pump. Does the material have a specific use? Absolutely. The pump is complete out of stainless steel and therefore it's on the one side certified for drinking water purpose and on the other side it can also be used in difficult conditions like salty water. And the robust fine cast technology leads to a permanently high efficiency and not only when the pump is new. The description of the Velo Actron Zetos says that it can be customized to every requirement. How does this happen? Well, uh, in our plant in Hof, every hydraulic is adapted exactly on the duty point of the client. And uh, moreover, also the motors are selected, especially on the demands of the customer. And uh, beyond that, we have numerous options, such as innovative coatings to increase the efficiency furthermore, or to extend the uh, service cycles. Okay, and in case of that, what are the three main customer benefits? Well, first of all, it's the best in class efficiency for maximum energy savings. Second, it's the durability of the pump. And uh, last not least, it's the uh, configurability. So we can really tailor a pump exactly to the customer's demand. Okay, wow. But at the end, let me summarize all these big facts. So the Velo Action Zetos can be customized to every requirements and so it can be used in many applications for example to pump drinking water or in the industrial process that's correct the second part is that it has the highest efficiency in its class and also the highest energy savings absolutely last but not least the Vila Acton Zetas supports sustainable and reliable raw water extractions because it is particularly robust and durable right correct perfect summary Philip, thank you very much for joining in and also for the explanation of the Velo Actron Zetos. More than welcome. And now, if you have any questions about the Velo Actron Zetos, feel free to contact us. And also, we would love to receive a follow or a like on our YouTube channel. Thank you for joining in and see you next time at a new episode of Yannick Asks.